Yeah, Sasha, well, you can see police are still out here and they've been out here all day since two o'clock this morning when someone reported their Jeep stolen. Now, police say they were able to track it throughout the city by using an air tag that the owner left inside. Everyone is safe. Everyone is secure and the plaza and the area around it are under control. We Mayor Alan Weber posting to social media about the incident. It was the final moments of a search for a stolen Jeep that started early Sunday morning. The Jeep crashing through barricades around the festival as people celebrated mass at the cathedral. The Fiesta Council president was among them as they heard commotion outside. They were nearing the end of their prayer and that is when we just heard um, individuals shouting at the doors running in and at first we were unaware as to what was exactly going on but you know um, people yelling things we just knew to we probably should get down. Witnesses say they saw a car driving recklessly through the festival area. While police say they did not chase the Jeep because of the nearby festival, police did open fire near Newsbum. They say the Jeep continued leading police to open fire on three more occasions. The car finally stopped near Palace and Canyon, where police arrested 21-year-old Justin Jimenez of Santa Fe. Police say Jimenez was injured but expects him to survive, but police say no officers were injured. Bad news, one individual succeeded in shutting down our fiesta. Uh, the good news, everybody's going home safe except that one individual who's in custody. And even but because the investigation closed much of the plaza and surrounding streets, fiesta events for Sunday were canceled. I spoke with um, one of the captains and there was a conversation and we wanted ultimately for the public safety um, and so that's where the determination was made that initially the uh, parade would be canceled and then the determination that the rest of the events just. New Mexico State Police will be handling the officer involved shooting investigation and as for the events that led up to it, that will be handled by Santa Fe Police. Reporting in Santa Fe, I'm Melissa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News.